Yeah, hi everyone, it's me, Marcus, otherwise known as the A Atlas Collective. I hope uh, you are doing well today in the void. Um, I thought I'd come out of my weird uh, No Man's Sky hibernation to make um, a speculation video. It's not something I've ever really done, um, but there's been some shenanigans on uh, X or Twitter, whatever you're calling it these days, with Sean Murray posting. Um, what seems to be at this stage maybe a pretty interesting update. Um, so it started on Friday, I think it was, um, uh, where he tweeted an Earth globe emoji. Um, you know, and well, what struck me uh, initially was it was posted um, before the weekend, which is very rare uh, for Sean. Um, but that usually means he, he wants to drum up some pretty uh, interesting hype over the next couple of uh, days. Um, you know, but as we know, an emoji tweet means uh, that something is coming in the near future. Although, you know, how long is a piece of string? But usually it means quite soon um, from you know, historically, I guess it means quite soon. Um, so yeah, and, and then it uh, sort of progressed over the weekend where he was retweeting as he usually does. Uh, but then we got three uh, Earth globe emojis, uh, but this time they were slightly different, showcasing the different continents of Earth, Africa, uh, America, uh, and Australia. Um, and that's obviously sparked up quite uh, a lot of debate uh, on X Twitter, um, you know, currently, and I'm sure it's uh, creating a, a bit of a buzz uh, in other community spaces as well. Um, obviously, this culminated in today, um, him doing the gib emoji, and that's a pretty big thing for us uh, No Man's Sky vets. Um, it was quite widely used during the Waking Titan era, um, and around those years, uh, that was basically the uh, go sign to summon uh, the update um, that, that they had planned. Um, and obviously this time he's included the globe emojis, which he done with origins, I think as well with three oranges. The only thing we haven't got is a earth cowboy yet. Um, I would love to see an earth cowboy because then that maybe means we're really cooking uh, with this update. Um, so yeah, as I say, there's been a lot of speculation about what this could actually mean. Um, the game has gone on sale on Steam as well, just to add. So I think, you know, once it's gone on sale on all platforms, we can uh, definitely safely say uh, that something's coming. Um, but yeah, what is what is people saying? Um, you know, obviously, uh, the initial thing uh, for me, uh, my knee-jerk reaction and a few others in the community was maybe it's something to do with planetary rotation. This has been a sort of thing that's been spoken about within the community here and there. Um, you know, there are some for and against, so just don't really see the point of it. Um, and obviously Hello Games themselves said uh, back in the day that they tried this, it didn't really work out, it was too confusing. Um, and so they decided to scrap that as a, a part of the game. But, you know, it's been eight years now. Maybe they found a way to make it work uh, in a way that doesn't uh, break immersion, but adds to it and, uh, you know, just creates a more lively kind of solar system when you're exploring. I, I, for one, would be all for that. I think it would be a really great addition. I think it would really, um, you know, uh, enhance my enjoyment of the game, at least anyway. Uh, obviously, they announced Light No Fire earlier. Um, and this has been, uh, again, brought up in conversation now because obviously they marketed an Earth-sized planet uh, for everyone to explore. Um, so it's quite a dangerous emoji to use because it, it has a lot of hidden meanings. Um, do I think it's a light no fire update? I'm on the fence about that. Um, you know, I think they are quite early in development still with that. And I don't think that they would use the No Man's Sky uh Twitter at this point um, to do an announcement of, of on the scale that some people are speculating. Um, maybe a teaser, uh, a new teaser trailer, maybe some kind of early access beta kind of tease, maybe, but I don't think anything uh, substantial with regards to Light No Fire. And I would like to hope uh, that they would actually use the Light No Fire uh, account for this and I think they would put in some solid work uh, to generating hype there if it's a genuinely serious light no fire update. Um, some other speculations with regards to light no fire at least was um, that maybe they're going to add an earth-sized planet into 
the No Man's Sky universe, maybe via an expedition. That sounds fairly reasonable, maybe, and it would pull a lot of people onto that planet to take part in the expedition expedition um, and maybe allow them to test something at that scale but you know with the expeditions in and of themselves they have a lot of people on a planet um, of varying sizes maybe they already have a good idea of how that's going to work for light no fire and does it really make sense to try that in no man's sky i'm not sure uh, some other speculations have been around, you know, obviously showcasing a planet. Has it got something to do with the way procedural generation works on the planet? Or is it hinting at uh, the, you know, uh, super formula um, that, you know, was apparently in the game at one point, but then was removed for, you know, not super clear reasons to me at least, but, uh, you know, due to uh, it not being possible to add. Um, I don't know about these things because that does mean it's going to impact uh, save files. Um, although I'd be for it if it was genuinely what they were doing. Uh, maybe it's not something No Man's Sky and Hello Games are maybe confident in doing this late in the game's life cycle. Uh, but these are all just my opinions based on what I've been reading. So, uh, you know, don't take it as fact or, um, you know, put too much weight on it. Uh, this is going to be quite a meandering uh thought process for me i don't really have a point to make uh, i just wanted to talk about it because this one drew me in uh, a little bit more than um, some of the updates have done uh, in recent times um, what, one thing that has a bit more of i guess of a grounded uh, approach to it is is due to data mining and um, there was uh, i guess mention of some kind of global save or cross save functionality for the game um, which i think is a great addition but given that we have a gib emoji i think it's going to be something more substantial than just that but I think that still could be uh, feasibly part of the update. And I, for one, would be super uh, interested in seeing this. Uh, you know, I have recently got an actually decent computer, so being able to uh, cross-save uh, my PS5 uh, file to the PC would genuinely make me consider buying it on PC uh, as well. Um, so I'd be totally all for that, but I don't think that's the, 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 meat, uh, the meat of the update necessarily. Um, one of the other things I've been thinking of is uh, with regards to, you know, just content in general in No Man's Sky. A lot of these updates have added systems um, that, you know, without being overly critical, have been fairly shallow. Um, you know, personally for me, I would love to see something that deepens these things, makes them make more sense uh, for the universe at large, maybe, um, you know, more connected the law in some way i know that's a big ass at this stage but you know for me personally i would like to see that because they do seem um quite thinly spread um and they don't have a, a major impact on, on, on the no man's sky universe uh at all i mean and when we're going into the expedition expedition um mindset with that they teased a lot um, you know, these different storylines and way back when we had the Ariadne uh, imposter storyline as well. We've got the autophages, we've got the Void Mother, uh, more mentions of the world of glass. Um, and I wonder if they're really ever going to tie these things up in a way that would be satisfying for at least me and probably a lot of people in the No Man's Sky community. I wonder if they're always just going to tease at these things rather than really tie those loose ends up. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what you think on that i mean for me that's why uh one of the reasons i keep coming back is for the expeditions and getting these new lore uh you know drops i guess you could say um but i need more i need some more meat on my bone um to to, to really feel like it's going somewhere um obviously i like all this the, the features that they add um you know the ship customization that was a great one to add i've not really explored it myself yet because it was never really a thing that I, you know, was super into. I like building bases. I, I like just the exploration in general and seeing what's over that next hill. Although, admittedly, after eight years, it is getting uh, a bit thin. You know, I think I've seen almost everything there is to see within the universe um, as it stands. So, yeah, more content, more lore would be my number one thing. Aside, uh, as an aside, and... Um, 
you know some planetary rotation would be really sweet i just think it's very very cool um also i guess uh, something to consider is we're getting to like 5.0 version now um i'm not quite sure what we're on but it's 4.5 plus i guess and uh yeah, maybe this is 5.0. Maybe this is the big one of the year. Uh, it's their birthday in August. I don't know the exact date, so don't shoot me. Um, but yeah, that's coming up soon. Maybe they fast track that a little bit for this year because maybe, you know, again, I, I guess a bit of a wild speculation, but maybe they want to ramp up towards the end of the year with um, some light, no fire stuff, which uh, I, I obviously would love to see. I'm so excited for that game. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's going to be a day one purchase for me. Uh, so the more information we get on that, the the better. Um, but I don't think it's going to come just yet. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my thoughts on everything, um, at least at this point. I'd be really interested to see what you all think about, um, you know, this particular uh update um what's your thoughts what's your speculations i think it's fun to speculate uh, within reason um you know obviously that's divisive in and of itself some people get very adamant that this is going to happen or not going to happen at all and there's like you know the people that wish for certain things like the super formula or an update to procedural generation as a whole um are, are insane for thinking that this late in the game um, you know, and I think that's unfair. I think it's valid that they want those things if they if that's going to make their experience uh, of the game all that much better. And you know, nothing's off the table with Hello Games. They've done so much um, with regards to making the game what it is today. They've ported it on so many different consoles uh, and platforms now. You know, I, I think. <coughs> excuse me. I think they're at a point now where they could maybe consider those things if they have. Um, the option to do so but again i guess it comes with the whole you know save file issue maybe the whole global save feature is a way that helps alleviate those issues um with regards to making these changes procedurally um who knows i don't know i'm not very techie guy so i have no idea how any of that would really work in reality uh just uh me uh wondering i guess speculating uh yeah but i I think that's it really from me for this one i i don't really know much else where i'm going to go with it uh so uh, yeah i uh, drop a comment below and let me know what you think uh about this update are you excited um you know what would be your number one thing that they would add based off of the emoji um for this update and uh yeah if you want to stick around drop me a like and a subscribe if it's a substantial update if it's a big uh, like content update then i'm probably going to do some 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 videos on it because uh you know those are the things that i really like about no man's sky um yeah so thanks for stopping by if you did uh may the mother atlas bless you in your journeys across the universe and i'll speak to you again hopefully very very soon